So guys, it's Declan here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new car duplication glitch in Grand Theft Auto Online. So this basically works for any vehicles, including supercars, and if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Once again, can we try and shoot for something well over 500 likes? That would be amazing. And with that said, let's begin. So, starting this off, the first thing you will need to do is you will need to have a friend in the game and you will also need to have a tank available to you. Now, it doesn't matter who owns the tank as long as you have a tank in the game and basically, once you guys have got both of them steps sorted, you will need to host an invite-only session. Now, the person who is duplicating the car is has to be the host of this session. If he is not, it will not work, so just make sure that the person duplicating the vehicle is the host. Anyway, once you guys have got that sorted, you then want to come over to your garage like so, and then you want to have your friend park the tank to the right side of the garage door. Now, as you can see, I am actually the person driving the tank here, and I, Crazy Teddy is the person who is going to be duplicating a vehicle. Anyway, once your friend has finished parking the tank, what you then want to do is get out of your personal vehicle and then walk inside of your garage. And once again, guys, I am actually the person in the tank, and I, Crazy Teddy is the person you're seeing on screen right now. And this is actually his footage. Once again, guys, my footage actually ended up getting corrupt. So I Crazy Teddy was kind enough to lend me his footage. I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. Make sure you guys check him out. Anyway, once you have spawned inside of your garage, what you then want to do is simply get into any vehicle that you want to duplicate. So as you can see here, I Crazy Teddy is going to be duplicating his Ada, and all you want to do is simply get into that vehicle. Now once you have got into the vehicle, you then want to go ahead and invite your friend to the garage while he is inside the tank, and then while he is still inside of the tank, he then needs to accept the invite. Now once he accepts the invite, all he needs to do is simply come down to your garage and then get inside of your vehicle, and then from there, all you need to do is simply drive outside of your garage. Anyway, as you can see here, Abdul Karim is just messing around, but once you do spawn outside of your garage, you then want to simply drive around for about 30 seconds, and then you want to get out of your vehicle. So as you're going to see, I Crazy Teddy is about to do that now, and he ends up actually going on a rampage and tarmacking as many people as he can. This isn't necessary, but you can do this if you want. But anyway, all you want to do, like I said guys, is simply just drive the vehicle around for around 30 seconds and then you want to get out of the vehicle and as you're going to see any second now, you should see an error message come up saying that your personal vehicle has been destroyed. Now what you want to do from there is simply ring up Moore's Mutual Insurance and the vehicle should spawn at the Moore's Depot. So as you can see here, the vehicle has successfully duplicated and there is now a duplicated adder at Moore's Mutual Insurance. So from there, all you want to do is simply drive down to Moore's Mutual Insurance to pick up the adder. And as you can see here, I Crazy Teddy ends up getting out of the vehicle and then falls over. But nevertheless, guys, all you want to do is simply get into the duplicated adder that has now spawned at Moore's Mutual Insurance. So as you can see right now, I Crazy Teddy is in an adder and so am I. And all you want to do is have you and your friend drive back both adders to your garage. Now from there, all you want to do is drive one adder, the adder that you just picked up from Moore's Mutual, drive that straight into your garage like so. And also guys, you do have to move the tank out of the way. I don't know if you have to, but we did anyway. Nevertheless, once you guys have done that, simply walk back outside of your garage and then get into the other duplicated vehicle. So as you can see, I Crazy Teddy actually ends up killing me here, which is why he ends up getting the police on him. But once he loses the police, he can then store the duplicated vehicle inside of his garage successfully storing both vehicles in his garage. So as you can see here, he does end up replacing a car. So I'm not entirely sure if you do need a full garage for this, you may. But now as you can see, he has successfully duplicated his adder and now has two adders inside of his garage. Now I do want to give a disclaimer here guys, you may get banned for selling the duplicated car as I do believe you can sell it. So it's up to you guys, if you do sell it, just know that you may get banned. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it for the video, if you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button down below. Once again, can we try and shoot for something well over 500 likes, that would be awesome. And hopefully I did explain things well enough, if I didn't, be sure to drop a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you and try to help you out. Anyway, with that said, I'm going to leave the commentary there, so I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video.